Hi. Today I'd like to talk to you about time value of money problems and what I refer to as the magic box. Basically, all time value of money problems can be summed up as you have four inputs and you're solving for a fifth. So in my little magic box here, I have the four, the, the five, sorry, formulas that matter in Excel, PV, FV, rate, and per PMT, and of course, what they're named, present value, future value, rate, number of periods, payment. And in each one of these, essentially what you do is you say, I'm putting in four, I get out a fifth. The inputs are blue, the outputs are black or red, um, and we have present value, future value, rate, number of periods, payment. All problems are set up this way. Usually the challenge for people is figuring out what the four inputs are. So for example, if I told you that you were gonna borrow a certain amount of money and you have an interest rate of 6% and a loan of say 20 years, it sounds like I gave you only three inputs, but I actually gave you a secret fourth. That is to say, when I write here that the loan will be paid off after 20 years, I'm telling you that in the future, you will owe nothing. In other words, that's the fourth input. That's the biggest challenge in all time value of money problems, figuring out what the four inputs are. And then, as you see here, if you know the four inputs, like you're borrowing 100, you owe nothing at the end, you borrowed at 6%, it's for 20 years, there's your PMT function, the rate, the number of periods, the PV, the FV, and there it is. In the same way, if I told you it would be fully paid off, and the rate was 6%, and the end per was 20 years, and that's the payment, there's the present value. That's what you're borrowing at the beginning. And again, you're either solving for the present value, the future value, the rate, the number of periods, or the payment. And that's the magic box, uh, otherwise known as all time value of money problems in Excel in two minutes or less. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. If you're new to time value of money type stuff and playing with Excel, uh, if this is the sort of stuff you find interesting or enjoy, uh, just email me at the email address you have up here or uh, check out my website for more information about this sort of stuff. And don't forget to subscribe. It really helps get the word out. Thanks again and hope you have a great day.